Hey, what's up? Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. I've been waiting to do this video. Thank you to James of Transylvania Recordings and Sivaris for making this possible with one of the gnarliest fucking releases that barely anyone has spoken of this year. And that happens to be Decrepit Flesh Relic from Sivaris. All I have to say is listen real fast. Severus is one of those bands, if you've been watching this channel for a while, I kind of warned you folks about when I first went over their split with Stygian Obsession, then I got a copy of the live promo that has four tracks that ended up on the full length, and holy shit, MSW's production with Lord Fowl's vocals and just some of the most interesting, slimy, weird riffs and heaviness you can possibly throw together into one fucking barbaric cauldron of doomy death metal. Sivaris oozes this like vibe of Mismore, Hell, Spectral Voice, Mortifero, A Cursed Wound, as this is one of the only bands I've heard us compared to, which I think is fucking great, and I really take it as a compliment, but Sivaris sounds like Sivaris, like... There's not really too many bands out there that give me goose flesh when it comes to death doom metal. But there's parts on here that legit sound like hell playing straight up death metal and it's amazing. But going back to like the demo, I'm pretty sure MSW actually has guest vocals on a track. But it's just interesting, like, the connection with Grayson Records and, like, from Grayson to Sewer Rot. Like, talk about night and day. Like, Grayson does, like, fucking realms, haunt, like, gnarly shit. So, like, them putting out a death metal release as good as the Sivaris demo, hell yeah. But, like, Grayson's one of those labels, like, I've come to expect, like, they don't fuck around. They only put out good shit. Same with, like, Transylvanian recordings. But this promo right here, I think I might have even given it, like, album of the fucking year. Like, when I, or, like, when I first heard it, I was so impressed by it. But all these songs turned up, like on the full length and I it's so good 
because now I have two different versions of these amazing hymns of death doom metal that just ooze of just heaviness. That does remind me of like the uh, undeath border. I know somebody's gonna call that out, but everything else is just otherworldly and fucking slimy and it's just fucking sick. Like the cover art by Nick Muir just looks like a bad fucking acid trip and it's great. But the music here, like, it's just great. Every track on here, like, especially, like, when From the Crypt to the Grave starts, you might be like, ah, that's a stereotypical death metal title. It's not stereotypical at all. Trust me, this, this album has so many surprises, and it's just unpredictable. And it's one of the things that makes it stand out from the rest of the bunch. There's no fucking gimmicky, like, sunglasses or tie-dye. No glow-in-the-dark. No duck-hunting outfits. Just straightforward bored people that want to play heavy fucking death metal. It's dark. It's fucking awesome. Sivirus is a perfect example of what I consider top shelf death metal. And Decrepit Flesh Relic is just... Yeah. So good. Like, if Apparition hadn't came out, and came into my life when it did, same with Stress Angel, like... I was sitting on this for a minute, like, do it, does it get album of the year? Like, cause it really is something special. I'm actually surprised this still exists physically. I'm actually kind of boggled by it. Cause this is something I figured would have been dead sold out. Which was something I actually feared in doing the review kind of later, but no, you can still get the CD and the cassette from Transylvania Recordings, and I'll put the link in the video description. And I highly recommend snagging this because this band deserves every bit of recognition possible. And I have a feeling it's going to come once the vinyl version of this drops eventually. But I also have a feeling that Sivirus, you're going to be hearing a lot more of in the upcoming future. I mean, they just did a show with Succumb, Mortal Wound, and Blood Incantation. Like, fuck yeah. But also, I did have a talk with Lord Fowl. So just keep your ear to the ground. Sivirus are one of definitely few bands in the underground that are really working outside of the death metal box that is popular at the moment. And I think that, again, is probably one of the reasons this is not sold out yet. I figured this would have honestly sold out in like an hour. And I was surprised when I saw that there were still copies. Change that. This really deserves to be heard. So listen to it and smoke a bowl, turn the lights out, and buy the ticket, take the ride. Enjoy this. This is not something to rush through. This is something to soak in. Like, imagine Spectral Voice meets Durenlager Alassar Undergang, Undergang, and they're hanging out with Helen Mismore. It's that special. Sivirus sound like Sivirus. But I've also heard A Cursed Womb compared to Sivirus, and to me, that is such a fucking compliment. But 
No. We don't try to sound like Sivirus. We're just both trying to think outside of this box and trying to do something different. And I really feel like Sivirus just... Like, if you have the demo compilation alone from Sewer Rot, I mean, yeah, it's on Sewer Rot, like, a label that kind of represents the whole entire, you know, big sunglasses, big shoes, death metal scene, but trust me, this is something that completely stands on its own. Like, it's something special. And I feel the same way about the Infested EP, that... Sewer Rot put out. This label kind of gets a bad rep. Just, I think, because Chris from uh, uh, Encoffinized is in it. I just, I don't know. But they take their death metal pretty fucking seriously from, the, from my looks of it. I mean, especially when it comes to the whole alien gimmick with uh, Infested. I just think it's kind of cool, like, because I'm a nerd for the Alien films, and, yeah. Anyways, just Sivirus, I just feel, are kind of one of those bands on Transylvania recordings. James just has a great ear, and I didn't know the history with, like, Salem and everything, with Lord Fowl, and... It was just super interesting and got me even more into decrepit flesh being. Especially once, you know, I started hearing more of, like, MSW's production influence. And it's just so fucking good. I can't recommend this enough. Decrepit flesh being by Sivirus. Top shelf. 10 out of 10. Death. Doomed. Fucking metal. For real, it's just one of those releases that it gave me goose flesh like the first time I listened to it. And for some of you, you might be like hearing Funeral Doom and like Death Doom for the first time ever with like Worms Forever Glade. If you like what you hear there, I have a feeling you might really like Sivirus, although it sounds nothing like Foreverglade. There are parts on here where like, they go into Evokin territory, and there's a little similarities, but like not too much. Sivirus sound like Sivirus, like I said, and it's just something I really want you folks to just listen to it on your own and soak it all in and just enjoy and if you want buy a copy highly recommended it was on my albums of the year list it was one it probably would have been album of the year if i hadn't gotten a copy of the apparition feel tape because that just yeah and jarhead fertilizer coming into my life was just a game changer but so was decrepit flesh relic like the moment i heard it i was like holy shit and i knew what to expect from the promo so hails to Sivirus. keep up the good work i know you guys are going places big and i wish you folks the best i can't wait to come out to california hopefully whenever my neck heals up I can do that, and yeah. Thanks for watching, as always. Thank you to James at Transylvania Recordings. Thank you to Lord Fowl, and hails to everybody watching this video. You fucking rule. Thanks for watching. Hails again. Brain injuries suck. Hails. Yeah.